Saturday's massacre by Hamas terrorists struck across Israeli communities, families and friendship groups. It means many of those now being called up as military reservists have their own very personal reasons to serve. One man told us today how his friend saved his life by fighting off insurgents unarmed, only to be killed himself by a grenade. That sacrifice, he says, will be honoured, not because he owes him, but because protecting others comes from the heart. This evening, in the idyllic seaside kibbutz he called home, one of the 260 young people murdered at that music festival in southern Israel was laid to rest. 26-year-old Idan Herman was living the dream until he became the victim of the stuff of nightmares. The last thing the young man ever did was phone his mother to say they were shooting at him and he needed help. Down the line, she heard the gunfire continue after her son stopped talking. Guy Simpke was also murdered at that concert. He died fighting to save friends who'd taken refuge in a shelter. Amid their heavy breathing, you can hear shooting outside. Working in tandem with another off-duty soldier who was armed, Guy took on the terrorists with his bare hands until he was killed by a grenade. Fighting with his own hands and kill two or three terrorists, he save, he save us. An army reservist, Noam, is ready to take part in the Gaza invasion and the loss of his friend Guy makes it personal. Um, Guy, I think he want, if we want to fight, we fight not that we, can, that we own him that we come from our heart to protect everyone and like how Guy did, not that we own him. That's how we want to, us to fight. The upcoming Gaza operation has the support of the vast majority of Israelis, but there is one group of people with reservations, the families of the hostages held in Gaza. Those captives include another concert goer, 22-year-old Omer Venkeld, pictured here half-naked and bruised in the bed of a Hamas pickup truck. This is Omer's father. I have only one mission, to bring my son back home. And this is my goal. He then spoke directly to the camera and to his son. Omer, we're waiting for you. We know you're alive. We're strong. I know you're strong. We're waiting for you. Shai said he would not be closing his front door until his boy walks through it. John Irvine, News at 10, Southern Israel.